but you see two different projections. Now, why, why this is really valuable, now, before, we, now before, we, before I tell you why this is really valuable for, for us to do the independent, now, before we independent viewport control, the way that you enjoy VR is, however, as you know, that otherwise would have existed. There are other, 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 other ways that we could use simultaneous multi-projection. So, for example, if we're in, in, um, in VR, okay, can we, if we can just go to the VR but don't do anything, please. <laughs> Tom, if we can go to the VR configuration, but please don't do anything. No, no. Now, before we, well, how is this? Without the lens, there you go. However, I'll let you know when it's the next thing to do, okay? Absolutely. All right, thank you. I'm just All so right. happy. And so I'll pay you double. Sweet. I'm in. I'll give you whatever you want. <laughs> just let me finish my job. Before DreamHack actually starts. <laughs> okay, so this is, this is using multi-projection. Gameworks DX12 running on top of... However... Today. Instead of fragmented architectures, where it's impossible for game developers to overinvest in any single platform, a video game running, this entire demo was running with RTX on at 1440p, p, at 1440p. But what is amazing, what is amazing, however, is that it was running on, on a brand new GPU. This brand new GPU Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce it to you. What are you going to run all these amazing games on? Well, let's show it to you. Looking at, if RTX was off, the frame rate would be about 60 frames per second. A really fantastic experience. Really fantastic experience. Battlefield 5, 1440p, p, 2 megapixels, on a 60, over 60 frames per second. Now, when you turn on ray tracing, this is what happens. Hmm. And for many, for many, for many, uh, they were somewhat disappointed by that, even though it was so much more beautiful, even though it was so much more beautiful. And so, as you know, we've been thinking about this for quite some time. And we know that ray tracing is computationally intensive and it's going to continue to be computationally intensive. And that's the reason why we added the right proportioning between ray tracing cores, RT cores, and tensor cores so that we could apply DLSS to this. And as a result, <laughs> Tom. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my favorite demo right here. No sweat. Nice and easy. Everything silky smooth. All so buttery smooth. So beautiful. Just makes you happy. It's hard not to be happy. It was several billion dollars. I'm pretty sure you can go to Mars. X. And you've got to ask yourself, right? How much faster? How much faster? Unbelievable amounts. It is utterly insane. It is insane. Raider running, or Excel running, or Division running, a big explosion.
Minesweeper. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you're running. It has to deliver that clean power. And when <laughs> Tom, no, not <laughs> Tom, not. 20 years in the making. The P. Force RTX series. Computer graphics and the thermal the regulation. Voltage, the power rate, crazy and it's unbelievable. Ship is unbelievable. This is the best design we have ever done. Everything from the management system, it is designed for overclocking. Amounts of overclocking. Not to mention, it is just so quiet. Even when you're maximum overclocked, everything just works. Everything just works. Look, glass reflects and refracts and magnifies just like it's supposed to as a 1080 Ti. Glass, it is so quiet. The engineering is just absolutely incredible. We're announcing, we're announcing, we have, we're announcing, we're announcing 14 models today. We're announcing 14. fastest in the world today is even faster than a tight RTX and you've got to ask yourself right how much faster how much faster happy feet unbelievable amount Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can, spins a web any size, can't you see, just like guys, look out, here comes the Spider-Man, is he strong, listen, Pre-orders today!